Welcome to My Vaccine is Jesus. Today's discussion is in the Apologetics to the Believing Jew playlist of this YouTube channel and is entitled The Timing of the Messiah Part 1. Before we begin, a short prayer. All blessing, honor, glory, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I pray to the Triune God to be filled with the Holy Spirit, so I am empowered to speak truth without error, and to interpret Holy Scripture correctly. All truth comes from God. Any errors are my own. I also pray that you, the listener, may likewise be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that any truth I speak or any scripture that I interpret correctly is welcomed into your heart, your mind, and your soul. Now let us begin the discussion. We're in the book of Genesis, the first book of the Torah, and we're going to look at this one verse. It's Genesis chapter 49, verse 10. This involves uh, Israel Jacob being basically on his deathbed, blessing, blessing his, um, his sons. And he gets to his fourth son through Leah, uh, Judah. And here's what he says in chapter 49 of Genesis, verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah. Obviously, the scepter is what a king holds. So the kingdom will not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, nor a person who gives law and rulership. So notice the kingdom, the rulership will not depart from Judah until Shiloh comes. So when Shiloh comes, what does that suggest? If the kingdom and rulership will not depart until Shiloh comes, once Shiloh comes, the kingdom and rulership will depart. And unto him, the Shiloh, so this is a, a male person, shall the gathering of the people be. Of the people. The people, humanity people? Probably. Here's BibleHub.com, the Hebrew. Lo Yasur Sebet Mehuda Imuhekek. Mebem ragla ad ki yabo, silo velo yikehat am mim. Forgive my butchering of the Hebrew. There is the Shiloh. 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 Only found in this verse, Genesis 49, verse 10. We go to Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, and the Shiloh is an epithet of the Messiah. So until the Messiah comes. So once the Messiah comes, then after that point, the kingdom and rulership will depart from Ju Judah and the gathering of the people will be to the Messiah who's for the whole world. Oh, the people is the people of the world. Oh, okay. And here's Chabad.org showing another example at a Hebrew uh, site, you know, Jewish site, Shiloh, Shiloh, the Shin and the He. Questions. According to the prophecy of Jacob Israel, during the blessing of his fourth son Judah, the kingdom and rulership would remain with Judah until the Shiloh, the Messiah, comes. Yes. But the kingdom and rulership were finally removed from Judah when the Roman army destroyed Jerusalem in 70 Christian era, right in the middle of the first Jewish-Roman War, 66 to 73 Christian era. This is true. Thus, the Messiah must have come around the time of the destruction of Jerusalem, 70 Christian era, and the first Jewish-Roman War, 66 to 73 Christian era. Yes. Hmm. So prior to the destruction of Jer Jerusalem, 37 years prior, was there somebody who claimed to be the Messiah and there's been a gathering of Gentiles after that time to that person? Hmm. Sure seems like it. I wonder who that is. Forgive my sarcasm. Final prayer. Lord God of hosts, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, it is you who I worship and you who I call out to now. I know that you are who you are and not necessarily who I believe you to be, who I've been taught by men that you are. I pray for you to bless me with the truth regarding the Messiah. If he indeed has already come around the time of the final destruction of the kingdom of Judah in 67 to 73 Christian era, as prophesied by Jacob Israel himself in Genesis 49 verse 10, right? Inspired scripture can't be a lie straight from God. Please reveal this to me. I humbly ask this in your divine name for your holy and blessed from ages to ages. Amen. And there's an image of the uh, destruction of Jerusalem by the Romans. I pray I spoke truth and interpreted Holy Scripture correctly so that this discussion might have been a blessing to you, the listener. All truth comes from God. Any errors were my own. If it was a blessing to you, I would greatly appreciate if you could like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Lord willing, we shall meet again. May the Holy Trinity bless us all.